Hi, my name is Noreen Hossein. Today I'm going to talk about formal specification of transistency models and enhanced litmus test synthesis using the TRANSFORM framework. Memory consistency models, or MCMs, specify what values can be returned when software loads from memory on a shared memory system by specifying the legal event orderings that can occur to result in such outcomes. They are defined across the hardware-software stack and play an important role in verifying correctness of implementations across the stack. MCM specification and verification efforts make use of small diagnostic programs known as litmus tests, like the one here on the left. They are used to define and verify correct behaviors. Based on the MCM specification, a litmus test outcome can be deemed permitted or forbidden by determining the legality of the event orderings required to result in the given outcome. While MCMs are valuable for defining these fundamental ordering rules, they do have some limitations. Namely, MCMs are not sufficient for reasoning about the software visible effects of virtual memory on program executions. To account for this shortcoming, this work focuses on formal specification of memory transistency models, or MTMs, which define the superset of MCMs that additionally capture virtual memory aware orderings. So why is it important to account for virtual memory, and how can it affect consistency? When a memory access occurs on a system with virtual memory, the physical address, or PA, that is being accessed by the effective virtual address, or VA, of the memory operation must be resolved. To do so, the address can be translated by accessing the VA to PA mapping stored in a page table entry, or PTE. Page tables are per-process structures stored in memory that hold VA to PA mappings. In order to improve performance such that every additional access does not require an additional access of the page table, processors with virtual memory use translation look-aside buffers, or TLBs, on each core to cache VA to PA mappings. The mappings themselves can be modified by the system. When this occurs, any existing TLB entries for this mapping must be invalidated such that a memory operation does not access the stale mapping. Subsequent memory accesses following the TLB entry invalidation must then load the mapping from the page table to bring it back to the TLB. However, a bug in AMD Athlon 64 and AMD Opteron processors caused TLB entry invalidations to fail in certain cases. This bug could lead to stale mapping accesses in the TLB, resulting in memory accesses to unintended locations during a program execution, which could cause incorrect and unexpected program behaviors. Because of the additional events that affect states that are indirectly accessed by program executions in virtual memory systems, namely PTEs and TLB entries, it is important to account for these events when verifying correctness of event orderings and resulting outcomes during a program execution. The focus of this work is on verification of event orderings that encompass these virtual memory events in addition to user-facing events. This work presents a framework called TRANSFORM that introduces constructs that can be used for formal specification of ISA-level MTMs and synthesis of enhanced litmus tests, or ELTs. First, TRANSFORM presents new formal MTM vocabulary that captures system and hardware-level virtual memory operations and their interactions with user-facing program instructions. Next, this vocabulary can be used to formally specify an ISA-level MTM. Transform's ELT synthesis engine can then take a given MTM specification and generate a complete suite of ELTs for the MTM up to a specified instruction bound. ELTs are litmus tests enhanced with system and hardware level operations that facilitate address translation. In prior work, a tool called CodeCheck takes an ELT and microarchitectural model as input and maps the ELT to the model to determine the correctness of the microarchitectural implementation with respect to the legal or illegal outcome of the ELT, which encodes permitted and forbidden behaviors of an MTM. While this prior work introduced MTMs and ELTs, it did not formalize MTMs and thus used hand-generated ELTs. Transform can be used to synthesize an MTM-specific suite of ELTs that can serve as input to tools such as CodeCheck. For the remainder of this talk, I will be going over ISA-level MCM vocabulary, followed by the ISA-level MTM vocabulary introduced by Transform and Transform's ELT synthesis engine. Then, I will discuss a case study that was performed using Transform to specify an estimated MTM for x86 processors before I conclude. Let's start with some ISA-level MCM vocabulary that is necessary for specifying MTMs and describing ELT executions. 
ISA level MCM relations can be used to describe programs and their candidate executions, which are the set of possible execution sequences and resulting outcomes of a program. Program instructions are defined as a set of events with a subset of instructions that access memory defined as memory events. Memory events access addresses in the set of locations and are related to them by the address relation. The sequencing of program instructions on a thread is defined by the program order or PO relation. In the graph shown, the events from the example program are included and labeled with the location that they are related to by the address relation. In this talk, events are labeled in programs and graphs with a numerical subscript that serves as an ID. Directed edges are used for sequencing relations such as PO shown here. To define a candidate execution of a program, communication or COM relations are used to encode the outcome of the execution. Reads from or RF relates writes to reads that they source. Coherence order or CO relates writes to the same address in a total coherence order. Finally, from reads or FR relates reads to CO successors of the write that they read from. These COM relations present a sequencing between events just like PO. Thus, they are represented as directed edges in the graph as well. Furthermore, they present a happens before ordering. W0 must execute before R1 in order for R1 to read data written by W0. W0 must execute before W2 to maintain the coherence order of this execution, and R1 must execute before W2 in order to access the data written by W0 before W2 overwrites it. Access data can be symbolically represented with these COM relations, and in practice, transform does so, but for this talk, data values will be shown for pedagogy. This MCM vocabulary for describing program executions can be used to place constraints on candidate execution behaviors in an MCM specification. In particular, they can be used to define a consistency predicate that constrains these behaviors. Intel x86 processors use the total store order or TSO memory model called x86 TSO. One of the axioms in x86 TSO's consistency predicate is causality, shown here on the left. This axiom states that the set of RFE, CO, FR, PPO, and fence edges must be acyclic, where RFE, PPO, and fence are edges derived from the baseline relations described previously. Acyclicity of these edges are required as they represent architecturally enforced orderings. Thus, a cycle in these edges would enforce an ordering of events that requires them to execute before they themselves have executed, which is infeasible. Based on this axiom, the store buffering or SB litmus test shown here is found to be permitted since there is no cycle created by these edges. However, the message passing or MP litmus test on the right has a cycle in its RFE, FR, and PPO edges. Since a cycle in these edges enforces an infeasible ordering of events, this execution is forbidden under x86 TSO. To summarize, MCMs support memory accesses for static VA2PA mappings without aliasing and user-level instruction interactions through shared memory. To support MTM features, existing MCM relations must be augmented with support for VA2PA mappings that can be modified during a program's execution and shared memory interactions between user, system, and hardware-level operations. The set of system and hardware level operations that facilitate address translation is referred to as transistency operations. Next, I will discuss Transform's ISA level MTM vocabulary. Transform supports two types of hardware level operations that are executed on behalf of user facing instructions page table walks or PT walks and dirty bit updates. These operations are referred to as ghost instructions. Since they are not executed as part of the instruction stream in a program, they are not related by PO. The ghost relation is defined to relate user-facing instructions to each ghost instruction they invoke. They are denoted with matching numerical subscripts between user-facing memory events and their invoked ghost instructions. In graphs, RPTW represents a PT walk and WDB represents a dirty bit update. PT walks are initiated by user-facing memory events when an address mapping required for address translation cannot be found in the TLB and needs to be loaded from the page table. Each memory event in the CLT expansion of a program execution is related to a PT walk by the ghost relation since they each access their respective address mappings for the first time on their respective cores. Once a TLB entry has been loaded by a PT walk, though, 
The mapping can be accessed by subsequent memory events on the same core as the memory event that invoked the PT walk. The RFPTW relation relates PT walks to user-facing instructions that access the TLB entry they loaded. In this example, only the invoking memory event accesses the loaded TLB entry since there are no subsequent accesses to the same address mapping on the same core. Ghost instructions and their interactions with user-facing instructions are discussed further in the paper. Transform additionally supports system-level operations. These include address remappings, or PTE writes, and TLB entry invalidations. These operations are referred to as support instructions. A system call made by a user-level process can result in the changing of an address mapping in the PTE during a program execution. This is an important event to capture as it can impact subsequent accesses to the VA that is mapped to a new PA. In this program execution, a system call results in a PTE write on Core 1, WPTE 3, that changes the address mapping for VAY to map to PAA. When an address mapping occurs, the operating system, or OS, ensures that any stale mappings present in the TLB on each core are invalidated via interprocessor interrupts, or IPIs. Transform models TLB entry invalidations using invalidate pages, which are named after the x86 instruction for TLB entry invalidations. Invalidate pages that are invoked by a PTE write, including those invoked via IPIs on each core, invalidate the TLB entries for the VA that is being mapped to a new PA and are related to the PTE write that caused them by a remap relation. Other types of TLB entry invalidations can also impact the state of the TLB and are discussed further in the paper. In this program execution, WPT3 invokes invalidate page 1 on core 0 and invalidate page 4 on core 1 with remap relations to invalidate TLB entries for VAY. Subsequent accesses to VAY must access the new PA that it is mapped to, specifically PAA. Because address mappings are not static or unique in MTMs, they are treated as another type of data and are thus represented symbolically. Transform adapts the set of COM relations to introduce four new relations for PTE writes and memory events that access address mappings written by them. They are RFPA, COPA, FRPA, and FRVA. In this ELT execution, WPT3 has an RFPA relation with R2 and W5, which indicates that these memory events access the new PA mapping for VAY written by WPT3. The other three relations are defined in a similar fashion in the paper. These relations can be used to derive same PA accesses between memory events and thus apply COM relations to those accessing the same PA, even if not the same VA. Now that I've gone over some of the transistency operations and relations introduced by Transform, I will discuss Transform's ELT synthesis engine that makes use of this vocabulary. ELTs can be described using MTM vocabulary and can support verification against an MTM specification. To synthesize ELTs for a given MTM, the MTM specification is used to find ELTs that capture interesting behaviors that stress the MTM specification. This approach is automated, has a formal notion of interesting and minimality for synthesis, distinguishes unique ELTs, and is comprehensive to a specified instruction bound. The synthesis process can be broken up into three conceptual steps. First, the synthesis engine takes an MTM specification and an instruction bound as input and applies the rules for placement of MTM relations on operations to synthesize a set of all possible candidate executions of ELTs up to the specified instruction bound. Next, these candidate executions are pruned for inclusion in the spanning set of ELTs. In linear algebra, every vector in a vector space V can be written as a linear combination of the vectors in the spanning set S. This idea is extended to ELTs such that the spanning set of ELTs include the space of ELTs that capture all relevant MTM behaviors up to a specified bound. ELTs that are considered in the vector space of ELTs must meet the following criteria. First, there must be at least one write operation such that there can be multiple possible outcomes for the ELT program. Second, the ELT execution must violate the MTM in some way. This is to expose interesting ELTs that stress the MTM specifications. To then qualify for the spanning set of these ELTs, 
ELTs must satisfy the minimality criterion, which states that any relaxation applied to the ELT in isolation results in satisfying the MTM. Applicable relaxations are described in the paper. This pruning step results in finding the subset of ELTs that are minimal and have interesting MTM behaviors. Finally, this subset of ELTs is pruned to find the set of unique ELT programs that constitute the outputted suite of ELTs. MTM and MTM vocabulary specifications are written with the relational modeling DSL alloy. Alloy uses its relational model finding backend CODCOD along with an off-the-shelf SAT solver to synthesize ELTs that satisfy the spanning set criteria. Transform uses the SAT solver MINISAT. After pruning for ELTs in the spanning set, Alloy outputs these ELTs in XML form and a post-processing script runs deduplication to remove any duplicate ELTs and output the suite of unique ELT programs for the specified MTM. Next, I will briefly discuss a case study performed with Transform to specify an estimated MTM for Intel x86 processors. As MTMs are a superset of MCMs, the estimated MTM for x86, named x86TELT, must include the x86TSO specification as well as additional transistency-specific axioms. x86TSO includes three axioms, SC per loc, RMW atomicity, and causality. These are described further in the paper. In addition to these three axioms, we inferred behaviors from public documentation and created two transistency-specific axioms accordingly, one of which is required for capturing architecturally visible MTM behaviors, and the other of which can be used to localize hardware bugs caused by incorrect TLB implementations. The first required axiom is called invalidate page. This axiom prevents acyclicity of the set of FRVA, remap, and the transitive closure on PO edges in order to prevent the access of stale mappings by user-facing memory events once an invalidate page is called by the OS on the respective core. The second auxiliary axiom, TLB causality, prevents acyclicity of PTW source and COM relations. PTW source is defined to present an architecturally enforced causal ordering on user-facing memory events that invoke a PT walk and other user-facing memory events that use the TLB entry loaded by this PT walk. Unlike invalidate page, TLB causality is an auxiliary axiom because it does not present architecturally visible impacts on the program execution that aren't already captured by the causality axiom, but it can localize hardware bugs in TLB implementations. Using our defined x86 TELT MTM and a synthesis bound of nine instructions, Transform synthesizes a suite of ELTs that violate each axiom that defines x86 TELT at each instruction bound, starting from the minimum number of instructions required to synthesize an ELT in the spanning set for a given axiom. For both graphs, the instruction bound is plotted on the x-axis. The graph on the left plots the number of ELTs synthesized for each per axiom suite at each instruction bound on the y-axis. For the graph on the right, the runtime along the y-axis shows the number of hours required by each per axiom suite at each instruction bound for synthesis. A total of 103 unique ELTs are synthesized across all per axiom suites, 98 of which can be used for hardware verification and validation, and 5 of which are useful for attributing causality bugs to TLB implementation bugs. The ELTs synthesized in these suites are compared against the 22 relevant ELTs used in prior work to determine whether these ELTs were synthesized as part of the complete suite. Transform synthesizes a total of 21 of the 22 ELTs with the remaining test requiring a higher synthesis bound. Six of these ELTs were synthesized verbatim and mapped to three of the ELT programs synthesized in Transform suite. 15 can be reduced to a minimal ELT in the synthesized suite. Thus, of the 103 ELTs synthesized for x86 TELT, three existed in prior work, while the remaining 100 are new ELTs. More discussion on this comparison is provided in the paper. To conclude, Transform is a framework that allows for formal specification of MTMs and synthesis of ELTs. It provides the tools modern ISAs need to have a formal specification that includes virtual memory, offering a much stronger opportunity for systems programmers and hardware designers to verify full systems. The x86 TELT suite synthesized by Transform can be used in future work to perform empirical testing on x86 processors. 
Additionally, we plan to use Transform to formally specify an MTM for RISC-V. Transform is open source and available at the provided URL. Thank you.